Hello everyone, welcome to Edukemi. I am Dimple Nankani and today we will be dealing with the landforms formed by river. As we know that river while it flows from the high steep hills to the plain, it creates a variety of landforms, it undergoes a variety of processes like the erosional processes, the transportation and the depositional processes and along with these processes it creates various features. The features like gorges, canyon, the deltas, these are very common features. But then there are few special features which the river creates like the meanders, oxbow lake, the alluvial fan and alluvial cone. So river, while it is moving from the high steep hills to the plain, it undergoes processes like the erosional processes, transportation processes and the deposition processes and therefore it creates erosional landforms, depositional landforms and also it creates special features like meander, river capture, alluvial fan and alluvial cone. We need to understand how is meander formed, what is oxbow lake, what is entrenched meander, what do we mean by river lengthening, river capture and what is the difference between alluvial fan and alluvial cone. So these are some of the unique features which are created by the river. So we will be dealing with them one by one. So let's first start with the erosional landforms. So where before we start with the erosional landforms, let's understand what are the erosional processes by the river. So as the river moves, as the river, as the river moves, okay, it undergoes, it, it undergoes erosion and erosion. Okay, so as the river moves, the landform here, the landform here is eroded. Okay, so the river is acting as an agent of erosion. Here, the river is an, is an agent of erosion. River is an agent of erosion. So what are the types of erosion done by the river? The types of erosion done by the river are abrasion. Abrasion, also known as corrosion. Corrosion. The river undergoes corrosion. Corrosion, also known as solution. This is one is abrasion, second is corrosion or solution. The river also undergoes attrition. Attrition. The river also also does alteration of the landforms and there is a specific erosional processes done by the river called as hydraulic action. So it is abrasion, corrosion, attrition and the hydraulic action. So these are the major erosional processes. Abrasion also known as corrosion also known as solution, attrition okay and hydraulic action let's let's visualize this one by one so this is this is the aberration this is attrition third is hydraulic action now let's understand how does this takes place when the river is moving from a hill when the river is moving from the hill the particles in the river the particles in the river suppose this is the river and these are the particles in the river the particles in the river they will they will strike the landform they will strike the landform and erode the landform and erode the landform let's understand here if this is the hill this is the river this is the river these there are particles in the river there are rock particles in the river these rock particles is hitting the landform, is hitting the hill. So as it is hitting the hill, it is eroding the hill. It is eroding the hill. It is eroding the hill. So this hitting of the rock particles by of that is carried by the river on the hill is called as aberration. And you can visualize this here. So these rock particles, these are carried by the river and they hit the landscape and erodes the landscape. This is what is called as abrasion. Another major type of erosion 
neural process is attrition. You might have heard the term attrition. Attrition. It's like you're tired. I'm at, there is attrition that is occurring to me. So what happens is when the river, when the river here, suppose this is the landscape. This is the landscape. Okay. From which the river is flowing. On which the river is flowing. So as the river is flowing, the river carries big, big rocks. Okay, these rock particles, these rock particles, they collide, they collide, they collide against one another. They collide against one another and they break into smaller particles. They break into smaller particles. So this is called as attrition and we can visualize attrition here. This is called as you can visualize the attrition here. So there is this attrition and see and see the big boulders, the big boulders will turn into small, 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 small rock particles. This is called as attritional process. So erosional process, attritional process by the river. Let's understand the third import. So one was abrasion, the second was attrition, the third is hydraulic action. As the river moves, so if this is the landscape via which the, this is the landscape via which the river is moving, the river is moving. So as the river moves, as the river moves, it splashes, it splashes across the landscape. The river splashes, splashes, splashes. Now, when the river is splashing, this will lead to erosion of the landform. Initially, the landform was this big, but because of the splash-based erosion, the splash-based erosion, the landscape size has reduced. This type of erosion is called as hydraulic action. And you can visualize hydraulic action from here. Now, look at here. This is a river that is flowing. The river that is flowing is flowing with great energy. The energy of the water, the energy of the water is, the energy of the water is eroding this landscape. And the landscape, the landscape gets eroded. So this is because of the energy of the water. Hydraulic action. Hydraulic means water. So it is not a rock particle that is doing an action. The energy of the water is doing an action. So do, you need to understand the difference between abrasion and hydraulic action. Here, the rock particles is hitting, hitting the landscape and the landscape is eroding. Here, the energy of the water is eroding the landscape. There is also one more process, erosional process that is called as solution, that is called as the solution. Okay, what is solution? So, as the river, as the river flows, as the the river flows here yeah, the river is flowing so as the river flows it carries some particles some particles and these particles they are soluble in the water they can be dissolvable in the water soluble dissolvable so these particles they get vanished they get dissolved in the river they get dissolved in the river as it gets dissolved in the river, it is a type of erosion. The rock particle has been eroded by because of the solution action, because of being dissolvable in nature. So there are four types of erosional features or the erosional processes. One is abrasion, the other is attrition, the third is hydraulic action, the action by the water and the fourth is solution. In reality, all these four takes simultaneously. So river while it is moving from the high hills, high steep hills to the plain areas, all these four processes takes place simultaneously, right? They takes place simultaneously. So there is aberration, there is attrition, there is hydraulic action as well as the solution. So all these four take place simultaneously. These are the erosional processes 
by the river. Apart from the erosional processes, there are depositional processes also. We will be covering them in detail. So one is the erosional processes. Now these erosional processes create erosional landforms. What are the erosional landforms? The erosional landforms that are created are so for example if the river is if the river is moving from this is the river if this river is moving from the steep hill is moving from the steep hill now let's visualize this let's visualize this here the river is coming from the steep hill okay now let's understand the profile of the river here if this is the hill and this is the plain area. Now, the river is moving from the steep hills, steep hills and it moves to the plain area. It is moving from the steep hills to the plain area. Now, as the river is on high hill, high steep hill, the river will have what? The river will have high energy. The river will have high kinetic energy. The river will have high kinetic energy. As the river has high kinetic energy, the river, the river tends to, tends to flow down. That is, the river is eroding vertically. The river erodes vertically. Okay, so here the river will start eroding, the river will start eroding, the river will start eroding and if this is the hill, the vertical erosion by the river is very high. Suppose this is the river, so the river is at a very high height, when the river is at a high height, it tends to erode vertically more as compared to laterally. If this is the vertical erosion, this is the vertical erosion this is the lateral erosion laterally okay it is lateral erosion so here when the river is on high hills it will erode vertically more and the lateral erosion will be less so what happens is as a result the vertical erosion is more because the vertical erosion is more it leads to v-shaped valley it leads to v shaped valley this v shaped valley is a landform is a landform formed by the river the erosional landform by the river when the river is on the high hills so why why v shaped valley suppose this is the hill the river will erode more vertically but will erode less laterally because the river is at a height so the river has a tendency to come down so more vertical erosion less lateral erosion there is your v-shaped valley which is formed this v-shaped valleys they are majorly of two types the two types are the gorges and the other is canyon so two types one is gorge the other is canyon we can see the gorge and canyon many times these terms are used interchangeably but there is a subtle difference between a gorge and canyon what is a gorge and what is a canyon? Many times the, the terms are used interchangeably. Okay. Basically a gorge is a V-shaped valley. You can see a gorge here. It is a V-shaped valley. So why V-shaped? We have already seen. It's a V-shaped valley. It is a narrow valley. It is a narrow valley. It is in the mountains. It is generally seen in the temperate area and the cooler areas. They are comparatively smaller to canyon they are comparatively smaller in dimension to canyon and this term is generally used in europe the term gorge is generally used in europe so what is a gorge gorge is a v-shaped valley it is a narrow valley it is smaller as compared to canyon it this term is used in europe now canyon Canyon, this term is majorly used in USA. It is, this is called as cornea. This is known as canyon. 
This canyon is almost like a vertical wall. It's not V-shaped, it's almost like a vertical wall. So gorge is like a V-shaped, but canyon is almost a vertical wall. Because it is a vertical wall, obviously it is not as narrow as canyon, it is wider. So here it is almost a vertical wall, it is wider. Generally seen in the dry climate, in the plateau interiors, in the plain, in the plateau regions in the plateau regions and in the drier climate that is in the temperate climate this is in the drier climate this is bigger in dimension as compared to gods that can be seen it is bigger in dimension and this term is used in USA the major difference is this canyon is v-shaped valley whereas gods is almost a steep vertical wall and it is wider as compared to gods which is a narrower landscape moving on let's understand the other type of erosional landforms formed by the river. So first let's understand here. Here, what are we dealing with? We are dealing with the erosional processes and landforms. In the erosional processes, there are four types of erosional processes. Attrition, abrasion, solution and hydraulic action. What are the landforms? The first that we dealt was gorge. Canyon, these are nothing but V-shaped valleys or the types, variants of V-shaped valley. We have plunge pool, we have rapids, we have cataract, right, and we can see all of them here. And we can see all of them here. So, we are dealing with the in the erosional landforms here. We can see one is the, this is the plunge pool, this is the pothole. This is the waterfall. We have a rapids and cataract. So you can write, you can also write the plunge pool and the waterfall. And there is your potholes. Okay, let's understand each one of them in detail. We also have river terraces. River terraces, these are also your erosional landforms. So erosional landforms are gorge, canyon, plunge pool waterfall, rapids cataract, potholes and river terraces. 